What made you take the leap to do it? Like, what was this? Was there a turning point that made you turn? Hi, everybody. It's Lynn Fedetti here, and welcome back to my channel. In this series called Take the Leap, I'm going to be interviewing the beautiful Bianca Kennedy on why and how she took the leap and have started her own business. And so I met, Ch uh, not Charlie, <laughs> Charlie is your business partner, with my business partner. So Bianca is the fiance of Charlie, who's my business partner and outsourcing angel. And four years ago when I met her, she was still working in, in corporate. And a year ago, she took the leap and she has, she's never gonna go back. She's so much more happier and I wanted her to you know, be here today to inspire you guys on you know, her reasons for why she took the leap so that you maybe you know, learn something and get inspired to also take the leap. So Bianca, can you tell me about your current business? What do you run at the moment? Thank you so much for having me, Lynn. Yes. Okay, yes, so my current business is called, or my business, not the current business, yes. that business <laughs> is called Know The Score Finance and I provide virtual CFO and bookkeeping services directly to small business owners. So is that what you were doing um, in no. corporate when you were working in, were you always been in finance? I've always been in finance and accounting, but my journey was really um, started from scratch of going into a grad job and basically doing tax returns for yes. um, individuals and businesses. And I realized really quickly that I actually am way more interested in understanding how the businesses are running and how they're making their money mm. and making sure they've got cash flow, not just telling them what their tax debt is at the end of the gotcha. year. Gotcha, yes. So I personally use Bianca for our business as well and she's amazing. So now I actually know all the numbers every month and I just know like where, how, like how to take the business to the next level. So thank you. Uh, so Bianca, like what made you take the leap a year ago? Like what was this, was there a turning point that made you turn? Yeah. So there was a turning point in my job at the time where I realized I was actually working uh, in financial planning and accounting and the business owner who I saw as a mentor uh, I was hoping to potentially buy into the business, like that opportunity mm. was very much laid out on the table for me. But what I realized was that this business owner themselves didn't really know their own business numbers. They weren't mm. up to date with their bookkeeping, they were behind on their tax lodgements, yeah. and they were stressed about cash. They were stressed about meeting wages. Mm. And I thought, what am I doing here learning? I'm not going to buy into this business and learn from this person. Yeah. This is the wrong environment. Yeah. This isn't an inspiring environment. I'm not able to apply my skills here. Why don't I just, you know, yeah. start small, start, you know, getting some jobs on the side, proving the concept of, you know, do business owners want that person to be their person monthly to give them their reporting, tell them their numbers, is this something that business owners need? And very grateful, Lynn provided me with that opportunity with yeah. her business outsourcing angel. And I was able to get a proof of concept gotcha. that this is valuable. Someone, you know, business owners are busy making sales and getting their clients yeah. and um, so you basically started on the side and had a like yes. you took a few days off work. Is that so? How you initially, started? it started with just squashing, you know, just making it work. So I yes. get my five days, and then very quickly I thought, oh, I'll go to four days because ah, yeah. I've got you know enough work to support that. And then very quickly it changed to three days. Yes. And once you hit that mark, you have to take a look at yourself and go, okay, I'm not actually committed to my employer. Yeah. I'm not really committed to my business. Mm. Is it a hobby? Where am I at? What am yes. I going to do? So I made the decision that, okay, life's too short. Yeah. Clearly my passion and desire was to work directly with business owners and create something of, from yeah. my own that would generate income and provide employment and value. So yeah, I made the decision, life's too short, and also I'm on the verge of having kids. Like yes. it's that, come that time in my life where I'm not in my 20s anymore. So I thought, you know what, yeah. if I'm gonna do this, it's now. Um, let's get this set up and and um, and going and get the money coming in and the clients set yes. up and my systems and processes in place so that when I do have a child, I'm not asking for leave. I'm not getting not paid. Like I've got my business yeah. and it's humming along. I don't have to gotcha. answer to an employer. Yeah. So was it just because you were going to have a family that made you take the leap, or was there other reasons that that made you couldn't take it the take the leap earlier? Uh, so no, I, that's probably because now today that you're talking to me, I am feeling inspired by that that really supports that reason but really I just um it's very important you know you want to feel excited about going to work feel like you're adding value to whatever you're doing mm -hmm. to like the people you're working with or employees mm -hmm. or whatever you want to look forward to going to work and making a difference and 
I think what happened was I um, knew I wanted to do something, but I wasn't quite sure what. Mm. And I realized that my where my strengths lie are in like finances, education, people, and business. And so, yeah, I was just like, well, don't ignore that. Don't try and fit in a mold or fit in a job yeah. role or just go for money. Like, stick to what your strengths are yeah. and um, yeah, and just give it a go. Gotcha. So why do you think a lot of people sort of get stuck in their nine to five job or the one that they don't like or so fearful of starting a business and yet you sort of decide, okay, I'm going to start something on the side. Yep. Yeah. Well, it took a while to get to that point. So this, the, having a go at something on the side, you know, you can go and find an opportunity. It might not involve getting paid, but you can find somewhere to practice what you're wanting to go into yeah like without taking the risk or not getting you know your normal income you can do that on the side but to be honest i wasn't clear for a long time of what my business could be mm. what i could earn how i would charge who would want to hire me yep. like how am i even going to do this so for a long time i was fearful i was fearful yep. because honestly like my my service is virtual cfo and bookkeeping so i'm like okay well People, people just think bookkeepers are just, you know, it's just an admin task and I'm going to yeah. pay $25 an hour and, you know, you can't charge me much for this. So I'm thinking I can't leave a job and only get paid $25 an hour if yes. I'm building a business. How am I going to be different to other people? How are people going to pay me? So I had to get a lot of confidence and do, you know, I read a lot of books. I did a lot of personal development. I practice on an actual client practice yeah. on an actual real person and yeah. also be around other business owners be around people that inspire you that are out there doing yeah. something special in the world and yeah. Lynn, Lynn <laughs> and my partner Charlie are really doing that yeah. with their business in many ways that are, it's not even financial yeah. it's, I think at the time I was releasing some photos or videos or captions about you know being a mother and being able to work from home and I remember you saying that you know you feel really inspired and you want to do something the same so yeah think, and if yeah. I didn't have someone like um, Lynn and like uh, if you don't surround yourself or tap into people around you who are doing something like that you do just live in fear and think it's not possible or how can I do that or it's not normal no one in my family has yeah. done this before um, when you have a child you you should just take maternity leave for a year you yeah. shouldn't be working the, like I've got great examples yeah. around me that do life differently. Yeah. yeah. So you mentioned before that um, you used to have, you used to work nine to five, etc. What is life like now? Like now that you know you have your own business, you obviously still work because you know running a business is difficult. Yeah. But uh, what are the benefits that you can see that is different to what your life was like before? Well, I guess the main uh, it's almost like a benefit and a curse at the yeah. same time, and it's something that I'm still developing because you you are you're in complete control of your routine, your schedule. So yes, there's flexibility, but with that becomes uh, it comes responsibility. Yeah. Like how how am I going to hold myself accountable to getting the best from myself and set this business up to give yes. the best chance? So. Um, it, the flexibility is amazing, but for me, I've, uh, the whole scheduling and making sure I'm being effective in where I'm spending my time, I'm learning so much yeah. about myself. It's really yeah. interesting. But that in itself as well, um, just the growth you'll go through yeah. personally and you'll look back on weeks or months and be like, oh, it was so challenging, but yeah. look where I am now. Yeah. So it's like these little wins along the way that you you don't really get in an under five. Yeah, I definitely agree. It's not just the monetary value that we get from starting a business. It's the character building that we get and yeah. the, how, how smarter we get and, and the things we learn from each other or from books. So you mentioned that you read books and you surround around people. Is there any other tips that you could give to someone if they're like a bit stuck, you know, a bit like, okay, where do I go from here? Like I, I know I need to take the leap to yep. whatever, whether it's a new job or a new business. Yep. Yeah. Do you have any other tips that you could share? I think, see for me, uh, and yeah, I do have friends in this category. Like I have friends at the moment. It's almost like you can see you can see people ahead of you, so you can follow in that mm. direction and get be inspired. And then you can have people behind you that are being inspired by right. you because they're looking at me, for example, in this situation. Some of my friends are like, you know, so inspired. Like they know where I was at two years ago, for example, and mm. they're like, you've come so far. Mm. And you to yourself think, have I really? <laughs> and then you realise I have, and now yeah. I'm leading and inspiring people behind me. So I think. Um, for me, it was, uh, it was the reading the, of the books and the going to some, you know, uh, business seminars and things mm. to just make sure I kept challenging my yeah. mindset. But 
obviously you need to have some direction. So yeah, you, yeah. Not, you, you might wake up and be like, I want to have a business. Like you've got to have some direction in which you're going. So are you using the skill sets from your past, from yes. what you studied, or you need to put down, like you, work out your values. Like what, yeah. do, what do you want to spend your time doing? Because is it... Um, client related are you a sales type person are you good at marketing are you a creative are you a technical person because you can still have a business and you just need the other people in the other seats but you need to work out with your where you where your strengths and where are your your passions i like that yeah yeah Yeah. um so for me it did come back to finance obviously but sort of in a way i didn't expect it to yeah so i mean do you think there's ever a perfect time to take the leap um so i know a lot of people will say and this is not me so a lot of people will say there's never a good time you've just got to do it i'm not so like you're like <laughs> I'm, that. Not you're so, safe. You're I'm safe. very conservative yeah. that's probably the accountant in me yeah so to be honest i would definitely recommend um and it depends what stage of life you're at mm. as well so whether you are single and you know yeah. still living at home or if you've got a partner and you've got a mortgage and you've got responsibilities yeah. well the this is different the risk is different so you've got to assess your own personal situation but i do find being in the finance you know world that if you start doing things um whilst having current employment so if you've already got employment just don't don't kick it all in at least get something going prove to yourself it's not for anyone else it's when you get paid that first invoice yes and a few months in a row and then when you realize like in my case i actually got my income to the same so i was at the same in both in both yes so i'm like okay i could be greedy and just hold both but then neither of them are going to grow yeah so let one go now you've replaced and then more will come in and move forward but in saying all of that i have always operated from a place of having some cash in the bank so yes. some savings some savings behind you really does can make all the difference because then you're not worried about feeding yeah. yourself and you can invest in tools or um programs yes, or or, more stuff, or virtual like, assistants mm. like you know now as i've grown every time i've grown and made a little bit more money i hire another assistant yes to help me because otherwise i'm just going to keep getting stuck so, yeah yeah so money obviously helps so having a little bit of capital yeah. but being um sensible because you know sensible but you also have to just take the leap as well yeah. so it's picking that time yeah yeah i love your answer because i was so different to you i <laughs> just jumped in and took the leap because i'm just one of those type that you know, I'd rather just, you know, dive into the deep pool and try to get myself out. But not everyone no, can not. function like that. You know, yeah. they might crumble and just will be too, so turned off from their business that they'll never do it again. Yeah. But I, I do like your, your advice, which is sort of starting slow, building that confidence. And then eventually there's still that point in time where... You still have to take the lead. You, you to totally the do. Yeah. The cord has to be cut, but yeah. you can still pick a little bit carefully yes. if you need, if you really do need to. Because, yeah, you know what type of person you are. Yes. And, you know, for like it, it does all work out how it's supposed to, but yeah. you have to be able to, if you're going to have a go at things, you don't want to be stressed. Uh, you don't want to be stressed about money if you can limit the amount of stress there. Yes. Ma- manageable stress. Yes. Yeah. That is so good. Thank you so much, Bianca, for sharing all that insight. Thank <laughs> well, thanks for having me. Um, yeah. I I was so inspired by your story as well you know just knowing like i guess you took me on that journey of you know that that work that job that you had and then you know going slowly from five days to four days it just really took me through as if i was experiencing it <laughs> so i hope you guys got some value out of um, bianca's story and yeah don't forget that just take the leap <laughs> and if you enjoy the video then please subscribe or share the videos with your friends thank, thank you. you bye, bye.